I'm Kel Docks, and this is day four of the free-to-play series of Raid Shadow Legends. You see, I've already claimed the helmet, and I've already rolled it up during the artifact enhancement. I've got the gear into that, which has helped him progress further through the campaign. I'm now able to reliably farm 10-3, and he has started making some progress on Hallowed Halls, not quite enough yet. So I've been still working on getting him some more food. Still doing a couple of runs at the Faction Wars, but now I want to try for the mission I mentioned on yesterday's video. Through the missions. Which is to clear Stage 1 or higher at the Minotaur's Labyrinth two times. I'm hoping if I clear Stage 1 and 2, get past that, get the 50 energy, and can keep pushing on. Now I'm going to try and do this with just the kill because I don't want the scrolls going anywhere else. Everybody else here is just food for either a, either a level in the kale or possibly towards the fusion. When the kale's maxed out, you'll definitely be able to do this on his own, but in the meantime, let's see. That worked fine, so I'll get this 50 energy as well. Back to Karak Castle it seems, take this one off along the way. We can get through that one, throw some cheap life artifacts on a champion, and get across here and get more of this energy. So, I'll run the Karak Castle and I'll bring it back later. So now that the Kale's in lifesteal gear, should hopefully be able to bring that damage up from the 200 and something yesterday. Take that one out and throw in the four star. And I'll replace this one the warm in. With no gear on, she probably won't land the defense down, but why not try? Yeah, 670,000. That's a remarkable improvement from yesterday. Let's check. So that puts in the novice chest, so one more run and hit the adept. So I'll get that done. I'll do some more farming and we'll see what we can achieve for today. With both keys used, managed to hit warrior chest 1.3 million. Maybe just take the offense artifact from Sewers of Arnok and throw them onto somebody. I'll just use some of these to be used for food. I'm not going to be keeping those artifacts, so I'll just get the one of each, throw them onto someone, get along, and start working on this one as quick as I can. More energy, more food. The next mission with a sticking point is win a total of three lesser potions, Spirit Force, Magic or Void Potion dungeons. So since I also have a mission to ascend a rare or above champion to the first level of ascension and Kale's already done, I'll put the first ascension onto the War Maiden ready for the um, fusion. So I'll have to try and hit Force Dungeon. Another rare book, ready for the mission that comes along at some point to fully um, complete the rest to put uh, hero skills, which I'll be using on the kill when that time comes. I'll throw one book on him now, just take that one off. With that all said and done, back to farming. So the attack percent glove missions 
done now. So the next one up is Ice Golem. So let's see how well Kale can handle that. The attack percent gloves won't be getting used anyway, as I said before, I don't find them useful. Golem's an unusual boss compared to the rest because it's the one where you, you want to make sure you take down the adds first or he hits harder. And you will bring back the adds after you take down his health at certain percentage in barriers. point about the adds is still valid but at this low level they, even his increased damage isn't going to be enough to, to do any serious damage with the power of the kale. The freeze against the kale was unfortunate. Wouldn't be so bad if I had the dark alien but a long way from getting that reward. Seems like if I'm going to keep trying to push through the ice column, I'm going to have to start taking those adds more seriously because that freeze was a lot more complete. Okay, I'll stop with the ice golem there. Let's see what's next. Now this one's going to be a bit of a pain because I'm not planning on keeping most of the champions who have currently got any gear on at all. So this could be a bit of a silver drain. Thankfully there is an artifact enhancement event on at the moment so I will get Kale, with a little bit of help from Warpriest, has managed to beat the final stage of Brimstone Path and this normal difficulty. So I can move on to the hard, see how far he, far he can get there. I'm going to end the video there, so thank you again for watching my Rage Shadow Legends free-to-play series, and I hope to see you again next time for some more Rage Shadow Legends.